Good morning, kindergarten. Happy Thumbs Up Thursday. So today, I'm looking forward to working with you some more. We're going to be looking at that letter M again. And when we come to our small groups today, I want you to be sure to also bring your red book that's in your packet. It's the one about kindergarten. We are going to spend a little bit of time writing a sentence today. So be ready. We're going to talk about how to write our first sentence about what we can do in kindergarten. Okay? When we um, made that web the other day, and I'm wondering if you can see it's over here, we talked about all different kinds of things that we can do in kindergarten. And I wrote some names down too so I, I could share with you what you said. So. Remember, this is the word I and can. Kaden said, I can write. Grayson and Max said, I can play magnetiles. June, Henry, Reagan, Bentley, Emma, and Kessa all agreed on this sentence. I can color, which is another fun thing to do in kindergarten. This sentence was Elliot's, I can play at the dollhouse. And Blake said, I can sing. Matthew said, I can ride the bus. Gavin and Ryan both agreed, I can play with the light table. And then Taylor said, I can draw. Brooklyn said, I can paint. And Lucas said, I can do handwriting. Handwriting was his favorite thing. So when you guys get ready today to come to my group and to write with me, I want you to be thinking about the best things you like to do in kindergarten. Because we're gonna write the first page today, but we're gonna write the other pages as time goes on as well. So be ready to write, writers. All right, the next thing I wanna share with you is I wanna share with you our poem. Now this is one I don't think you have in your packet and that's okay because I'm gonna be giving it to you when we come back to school in, a couple, in another week, okay? I really wanted to introduce this poem because it has a lot of our new magic words in it. The poem is called My Family. And it goes like this. M-O-M -M spells mom. D-A-D -D spells dad. Y-O-U spells you. And M-E spells me the end. Okay, so we have lots of magic words and I really want you guys to practice, practice, practice because we have some really good time at home with our families and we're going to have lots of time to really get these letters and these sounds down and these words down. When we come back to school, we're going to rock right back, okay? So M-O-M -M spells mom, D-A-D -D spells dad, Y-O-U spells you, and we saw this one today, or yesterday when we talked about the letter N, A-N-D, and M-E spells me. And remember, we have a lot of words with just two letters, and that second letter is E, M-E, me, M-Y, my, M-E, me, M-Y, my. M E me, M Y my. I hope you've been playing with those magic words at home and making some sentences of your own. It's pretty exciting when what we know about magic words comes together and we can make sentences, right? Okay, let's go through those last few. This is the one that I told you is not on our board as a magic word, but I think it's a good one to know. L O V E spells love. L-O-V-E spells love. L-O-V-E, L-O-V-E, L-O-V-E spells love. And this was our first magic word, I. The letter's A, the word is a. Uh. C, 
C-A-N spells can. We're going to be using I can in our book tomorrow. W-E, we. T-H-E -E spells law. And S-E-E -E was one of our senses. S-E-E -E spells see. Okay, so the other thing I wanted to talk to you about today was um, some first sound work. We're doing some of that in group and we're going to learn to do it really fast. So I say a word and you tell me the first sound super fast. And that's why we'll be playing that game every day in our small group, okay? I'm going to flip my board around and we're going to play with some first sounds, okay? If my dog gets in the way, bear with me. Sadie likes to help. Okay. So what I did today are these are some of the letters that we've been talking about in our Learning Letter Names book. And so we've already talked about the sound of R, er, and remember capital R and lowercase r, capital M, mm, and lowercase m is our magic letter this week. This is the letter N. We talked about that one in small group yesterday. N says N. Remember, you open your lips to say that sound. N. And finally, T, capital T and lowercase t, like Timothy Tiger, who's tough. All right, so I know you're not, I can't hear you and you can't um, interact with me, but I know that you're going to pay close attention as I pull these cards out and you're going to help me figure out where they go. Okay, so here we go. The first picture I have is a ruler. Er, ruler. Where do you think that picture goes? If you guessed R, R says er, like in ruler. I'm going to put that one there. All right, how about this one? This is a mirror. What's the first sound in mirror? If you said M, mm, you're correct. And the letter that says M mm is M, just like Mickey Mouse. Okay, this is a good one. We have a toothbrush. T toothbrush. The first sound in toothbrush is T. And the letter that makes the sound T. If you guessed T, you got it. It goes here. T is for toothbrush. All right, one more here. This is a picture of a net. Now think about it, net. It's not an M sound, my lips are apart. Net begins with N. And the letter that says N, you guessed it, M. Let's do a few more. We have some mm, mm, mitten. Mittens begin with M. Mm. And that would go right here. M says mm in mitten. Turtle. T, turtle. The first sound in turtle. T. T. Toolbox. T. Toolbox. There's another T word. Er. Raccoon. It sounds like er, 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 like in Robbie Rabbit. The letter that says er, r. I guess I could just put these all up and down. Okay, Cadence, you wrote about this today. Uh, this is a ring. Where does ring go? Mm -hmm. There's another r word. Mm, marshmallow. Mm. You guessed it. The first sound in marshmallow is M, mm, and that is an M word. Mm, mouse. Oh, this is just like Misty Mouse. The first sound in mouse is M, mm, so it goes under the M. Nuts. Squirrels are gathering nuts for winter. The sound of N is N. Nickel. Mm. Yep, that's an N word. 
neck. You guessed it, another M. Mm, neck. Okay, this one is toast. T toast. It begins with T. Mm -hmm. All right, that's pretty good. That's a pretty good start for us. Let's really think about while you're going through your letter card in this next week or so, I really want you to be thinking about other words that begin with all those beginning sounds on your card. We're gonna get really fast at this before the year is over. Okay guys, I see you doing it in your seesaw work and it looks amazing. So I'm really proud of you. You're doing great. All right, I'm gonna switch gears just a little bit here because I wanna to talk today about vocabulary. When we talk about vocabulary, we're talking about college words, right? big college words and using words that are different and unique and special. I'm going to go through some of the college words that we've already learned and then I'm going to talk to you about some of our new magic, our new college words this week. So let's take a look at the ones we've done so far. This one is for the word creature. A creature is an animal. Then we learned this word. This word is Imitate. When you imitate someone, it means that you copy. This is the word companion. A companion is a friend. Okay, this one is for the word explore. Remember when you explore, you are looking around carefully to see what you can find out about it. This word is generous. If you are a generous person, it means you are happy to give or to share with others. A generous person is not selfish. Oh, this was one of our favorites. This one is nuisance. When someone is bothering you or causing problems, we would say they are a nuisance. Sometimes my dog Sadie is a nuisance. This is the word energetic. For energetic, we know that we're talking about being full of energy or strength. When you are feeling energetic, you are ready to work or have some fun. Okay, exhausted. If you are feeling exhausted, you are feeling very tired. All right, these are our last ones. This one is soar. When you are soaring, it means you are flying high. Tangled. When something is tangled, it is twisted together in a very messy way. The kite string is tangled. Okay, this picture goes with the word snooze. When you are snoozing, you are taking a nap or sleeping for a short time. And finally, drowsy. If you're feeling drowsy, you're feeling sleepy. Okay, ready for some new ones? Okay, we have four new ones this week. This one is tricky. Pedestrian. It has four sounds or four syllables. How many letters? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten letters in this one long word. So when I read a long word like that, I slide my finger from the first letter sound all the way to the end of the word. The word is pedestrian. So a pedestrian is a person who is walking somewhere rather than riding in a car or taking a bus or train, a pedestrian is walking somewhere. Pedestrian. Okay, the next new magic word is passenger. A passenger is a person who is riding somewhere in a car or a bus or a train or a ship or even an airplane. 
a passenger is riding somewhere. Okay, the next word is eager. Eager means wanting to do something very much. I am eager to get back to kindergarten with you. Eager. All right, last one. Assortment. An assortment means a mixture or a group of different things. We have a bowl with an assortment of fresh fruit. That's pretty yummy. That is an assortment. All right, we're going to read a book today called Flower Garden. And I think this is a great book because there are some words that we've been talking about, some family words in this book, but also we might see some of those college words that we just talked about. The book, Flower Garden. The author of this book, oh, looks like there's one, oh, the author of this book is Eve Bunting. Remember the author is the person who writes the words. The illustrator of the book is Catherine Hewitt. So the illustrator then does the pictures or the illustrations for the story. Flower Garden. Garden in a shopping cart. Doesn't it look great? Garden on the checkout stand. I can hardly wait. Did you notice the word I and can? Those words we see all the time in books. Garden in a cardboard box. Walking to the bus. Look, they are pedestrians. They are walking somewhere. Garden sitting on our laps. People smile at us. Now they are passengers on the bus. Garden going up the stairs, stopping at each floor. <clears throat> this garden's getting heavier. At last, our own front door. This family lives upstairs in an apartment building in a big city a little bit different than Johnstown, right? Hurry, hurry, get the trowel. The trowel is like the little shovel. Spread the papers thick. It sounds like she is eager to plant the flowers, isn't she? Get the bag of potting soil. Get the planting mix. Put purple pansies at each end, daisies white as snow, daffodils, geraniums, and tulips in a row. I'll bet some of you might have some of these flowers in your garden too. Garden in a window box, high above the street. Look at the assortment of flowers in that window box. Lots of different kinds. Where butterflies can stop and rest and ladybugs can meet. Walkers walking down below. There's some pedestrians down below. Will lift their heads and see purple, yellow, red, and white. A color jamboree. Kind of fun to use our college word. Candles on a birthday cake. Chocolate ice cream too. Happy, happy birthday, mom. A garden box for you. And that's the end. Okay, friends. Have a great morning. Enjoy doing all of your literacy work. I'm so, so 
thankful we have Seesaw so I can see what you're doing at home. And feel free to record yourself, do some cool things in your science platform, and I'll check in with you later this afternoon, okay? Have a great day.